Welcome YouTube to the second week of the Body Bind Horcrux. For those who aren't aware of what the Body Bind Horcrux is, it's basically the Harry Potter Alliance's uh, third Hor Horcrux campaign. That's part of the Deathly Hallows campaign, where basically they uh, do 30 days worth of helping to make people be. Uh, happy and confident with with their uh, bodies as they are and how to promote healthy eating, exercise, but overall being happy with who just who you are. And uh, this week uh, we focus on healthy eating. So I'm going to tell you all about some of the, some delicious healthy foods that I like to eat. And first let us start with skim milk. Uh, now, I only started uh, drinking skim milk as opposed to low-fat milk or regular milk um, quite recently because uh, my dietitian said that it would probably be better for me, especially with how much I like to drink milk. And it, it actually surprised me about how tasty it tasted. And it tastes really well when it's combined with uh, low fat uh, or fat free. Fat. Fat free. Ta -da. I hope you can read it. But yeah, fat free uh, chocolate syrup, which uh, I shall combine them now. Um, doo -doo -doo. And it makes for a very tasty uh, drink to have with a, a meal or a snack. My college has skim milk in the uh, ca uh, cafeteria. Um, and uh, there's also chocolate syrup for things like um, ice cream. Um, I'm able to make it while I'm at school, so I'm able to have this delicious drink for whatever my lunch is, which uh, if I buy it from the cafeteria, is not very healthy, even though it's delicious. I like fried chicken Wednesdays. Mmm, fried chicken. It comes with macaroni and cheese. But, uh, anyway, moving on to healthy foods. Um, when I'm at home and I have my chocolate skim milk, I also like to have with it an apple and a string cheese to go. Um, this one is Weight Watchers uh, string cheese, and it's 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 very tasty. And I actually get upset when uh, people eat too much of it without asking me, because <laughs> it's, it's mine. It's come up. It with the apple makes a very good snack to have while I'm doing my homework and I'm hungry before it's dinner time. It's just tasty. The last thing that I want to talk to you all about is something else that my dietitian told me about, which was that it's recommended that you have each of your big meals of the day at five hour intervals. So if I had my breakfast at uh, eight o'clock, I should probably have my lunch at somewhere but somewhere between 8 and 1 so that I don't over so I don't overeat uh, if I eat it later than that same with lunch if I have my lunch at like 11 30 or 12 I should have it between what 11 11 30 and 5 o'clock and that's pretty much about right I'm always getting hungry about 11 11 30 and then I get hungry again at 4 30 5 o'clock and that, and eating uh, beyond that uh, time frame, uh, that makes it more likely that you'll overeat and thus consume more calories and than uh, your body actually needs. And uh, that's not the best thing for you. So aiming for five hour inter intervals between meals is good. And you can always have snacks in between, like the apple and the cheese. That's it for this week's video for the uh, 
Body Bind Horcrux. Um, tell me about what your healthy eating habits are in the comments, or if you want to, you can make a video about your healthy eating habits and make it a video response to the Harry Potter Alliance's uh, video for this week's part of the Body Bind Horcrux.